So if you do a quick Google on how often you need to test your hot tub, there'll be suggestions of anything from once a week to three or four times a week. That's okay for domestic hot tubs, but if you are operating them in a commercial setting, which you are if they're in a holiday cottage, then you need to be following HSG 282, which is uh, recommending at least twice daily testing. There are two different types of tests that you're going to be carrying out. Firstly, you are going to be doing daily chemical testing. And secondly, there is the biological testing, which is going to take place monthly for coliforms and E. coli and quarterly for Legionella. Daily testing needs to be done by somebody who is competent and properly trained. It's not difficult, it's not rocket science, uh, but you do need to do it right. And it's definitely not acceptable for you to leave chemicals for your guests to do it themselves. Chlorine and bromine are the most common sanitizers. Bromine is more stable at high temperatures than chlorine and the levels are easier to maintain, but it's more expensive. Chlorine acts faster and is cheaper. pH is really important both for the comfort of your bathers, but also for the protection of your investment. If the water is too acidic or too alkaline, it can cause damage. So the amount of chemical that you will need to add to the water will very much depend on what the bather load's been, what your water's like. There's guidance in both the toolkit and in HSG 282 on what the required levels of each chemical should be. So there are three main types. You've got your basic test strips, which you just dip into the hot tub. These are fairly basic and not as accurate as some other measurement uh, types. Secondly, you've got the li liquid testing kits using reagents. Um, these compare results to a color wheel, so they may not be suitable if you're colorblind. And thirdly, you've got the very accurate digital testing kits, such as photometers. They give a digital readout. They have a greater range of tests that they can carry out, but they are more expensive. But if you have a, a commercial tub, then these are the ones you would probably would want to use. All testing equipment should be kept clean, dry and well maintained. Once you've done your test, make a note of your results and then decide if you need to take any action. Now this can be written down in a hot tub diary or there are also phone apps where you can record results. It's important to remember to note down tests even when everything's okay. So in addition to the daily tests that you're going to run for chemical balance of the water, you'll also need to do monthly and quarterly tests for biologics in the water. The monthly tests is for aerobic colonies and coliforms and bacteria that are likely to cause common diseases like folliculitis. In addition, it's recommended that the water is tested quarterly for Legionella. Again, HSG 282 on page 47 details how to collect a sample, but please always refer to your testing lab and their procedures. If the results show an exceedance, then page 49 and page 50 of HSG 282 on table 4 gives advice on what you should do. The water testing you have in place will uh, demonstrate that you've put all the necessary steps in, in place to make sure that your guests are having a safe bathing experience. The next film is going to be about risk assessment.